Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lee Williamson and today I'm going to teach you a couple of tips. Say you are a Cinema 4D newbie and you're a freelancer and you're a motion designer and you said to a recruiter, hey guys, I know some Cinema 4D and you get that job and suddenly you rock up and there's a whole animation, there's textures involved and the client's like, I want you to make a still frame and I want you to change the textures and move things around and suddenly you feel a bit screwed. So I'm going to teach you a couple of tips and techniques that should hopefully make your life a lot better. So without further ado, let's dig in. Right, so here is uh, animation. I did quite some time back for a company I worked for Elemental Concept. And uh, it was just a little uh, crabby walking down the side of this little island and a scroll coming out of a treasure chest and then going back in and closing up. Now, sometimes when you receive uh, assets maybe from someone else, it could be a bit messy and maybe you just want to uh, do a bit of a cleanup, remove some textures and take the animation out. So I'm just going to show you a couple of tips that will make your life a lot easier if you receive um, someone else's assets and you're on the clock and you just want to get things done. So here we go. So first of all, I'm going to go to display and garage shading on just so I can see what I'm doing. Um, if I press shift F3, uh, it's going to open up my timeline. Now, so far, not everything that's been animated in this animation is visible. So I go into view automa uh, automatic mode and now all my animations are there. Now, what I want to do is let's sort of find a point that we want to say it was when the treasure treasure chest was open for example we want this specific frame so we're going to scroll to frame 65 and what we're going to do is we're going to press the word summary and that summarizes all the keyframes and then just delete and boom there's no more animation ah oh, well there's one more animation but we can fix that so the water's still moving so inside here is a displacer we can go into our shading I click on this uh, little uh, noise image and go to animation and put that to zero. Right, so now there is absolutely no animation. The next step we want to do is delete our textures. So I'm going to delete all the textures over here by um, selecting and dragging under my uh, textures pa material uh, palette and get them all. And now you'll notice when I delete them, everywhere I've deleted them, there's a question mark where the texture tag used to be. So we can, if we try to apply new textures, these would still stay there and they could conflict with your texture tags. Um, so the first thing you can do is you can go up over here in the top right hand corner with the thing that looks like an eye, click on it, uh, untool tags and go to text, uh, texture and select all texture. And now all textures are selected around rather than pressing delete or backspace, just drag to the right and they snap all onto one uh, layer or object. And then you can press delete. Now all the textures are deleted, which is fantastic. And then I'm going to turn the eye back off here. And uh, let's just remove all the lighting because perhaps we don't want this lighting. So sun, physical sky, and um, there's also a couple other things like we want the camera so we can delete the cameras. And if we zoom inside here, we'll also notice there's a little spline where the little crab man walked. So let's just delete those splines. We don't need them. We don't need this aligned to spline either that the crab was aligned on. Cool. And now we have that asset and say we want this crab to be say next to the treasure chest. So we can do that. We click on the crab and we find our treasure chest and we drag our crab into the treasure chest so that now it will have the same properties as a treasure chest. Almost think about it as like a dragging it into a folder and then you can click on your coordinates and you can select X, Y and Z and just bring them to zero so you zero these out right now it's currently smack bang in the middle of the treasure chest and you can drag them out over there let's zoom in on the two key 
and where this little symbol is like a world view I'm going to click that press R on the keyboard and rotate and as you'll notice when it's on world view um, it ignores the rotation angles of all the obje other objects so when you uncheck it now it's going to remember uh, the shape of this um, mound of sand so you know this for example find out where that sand is over there and notice it's kind of aligning to that sand and now I can just press on the keyboard and rotate three to uh, rotate and just keep moving it around until I'm happy where my Mr. Krabby is standing Cool. There we go. So Mr. Krabby is happy and standing over there next to the treasure chest. Now the next thing I want to do is show you how to bring in a color palette real fast. You go to new material, you double click on that, and there'll be this little icon over here called color from picture. And if you click on it, now I and uh, find in your folder. I just made my own uh, selection of colors. It's a JPEG with a couple of RGB um, uh, color swatches. I'm going to open that up. And right now you've got this little circle here. So what you want to do is you want to press, wait so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight and there's only one circle right now. So we need seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then all we're going to do is we're going to drag these circles over each color. Cool. Now we've got all our colors. And now all we need to do is just drag these colors smack bang. There. and we can just delete that color that was the original palette and uh, there we go so we got some colors and for example then you can just start to snap them in your background and color up your image so I'm just gonna control Z that and yeah that is how you do a little bit of cleanup right so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you did Please like, share and subscribe as I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.